you know what? <clears throat> I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't even going to do this review. I wasn't even going to do it. <clears throat> Probably the first time. This is a this is a uh, my annual thing, an annual thing. When it comes to Monaco, personally, I'd rather go on holiday for that weekend. I'd rather go on a nice long vacation. Very simple. Because no one listens. No one listens. Everybody talks about the history of Monaco. Everybody talks about the prestige of Monaco. Everybody talks about the celebrities and the champagne. I do not give a shit. And Monaco... Monaco is dog shit. Go back to my video from last year. Go back to my video from the year before. Go back to my video before that. Andy, before that and before that. That's how long I've been doing this. This is how long I've been doing F1 reviews. This is how long I've been doing it. Now, when it comes to Monaco, get rid of it. Now, there's rumours going around, which is not a rumour, it's fact. You can Google it if you want. You can go on the F1 website. That Monaco do not want to pay for their sponsors. Monaco do not want to pay for their sponsors. They want to advertise their sponsors, but they do not want to pay F1. Now, every track that F1 goes to, it could be Silverstone, it could be Monza, it could be Imola, it could be any track they go to. If that track wants to advertise their sponsors, they pay F1. Very simple. They pay F1. But Monaco do not want to pay. They want to say, why should we pay? We are for Monaco. Well, I'll tell you what. How about, yeah, you stop having Grand Prix there, stop having races there, and then we'll see what happens then. I am sure they will come crawl into the F1 and say, you know what? We'll pay for our sponsors. Who the fuck do they think they are? Who do the fuck do they think they are? What, because you're for Monaco, you're, not, you're supposed to get things for free. I don't think so. If you want to remain in F1, which I hope they don't, but if you want to remain in F1, you have to pay for your sponsors. It's just like me going to Wimbledon and say, you know what? This is my brand Solo P1. I want to put my Solo P1 brand all over the screens, but I don't want to pay for it. That's what Monaco is doing. Now, I ain't going to go through to the review. Look, it's been nearly a week since um, the Grand Prix was, well, it's been four days now. I'm not going to go for the review. I'm not, you all saw it. You all saw the highlights. I'm going to point out a few things that went wrong in that race. There's a few things. I'm going to include Red Bull, Checo. Well, Checo done the right thing. He he rolled the dice. So did Gasly. But Mercedes in the toilet with Hamilton again. And Reb, um, and Mercedes with Russell, the perfect strategy. Charles Leclerc got fucked. Very simple. He got screwed. Now... I'm going to go into this now. Look, I do not want to go into it, like I said, but something, I just don't understand how Ferrari fucked this up. How did Ferrari mess this up so royally? Now, you've got Charles Leclerc, my favourite to win the title still. Don't care what anybody says. Don't care if you don't agree with me. Don't care if you say Max Verstappen. Don't care if you say Lewis Hamilton. Don't care if you call me a hater. Don't care. My pick to win the world title is Charles Leclerc. And he always will be for this season. That is my pick to win the world title. If he doesn't win the world title, he doesn't win the, ter the world title. We move on to 2023. Very simple. No port coming on Twitter. Tweeting. Being the Twitter warriors. Just accept my opinion. And let's move on together as an F1 community. Very simple. Now, what was Charles Leclerc what was Ferrari doing with Charles Leclerc? You have a man in front. Yeah. You have a man in front. Why did you pit him? Their times, their sector times on the wet tyres were perfect. There was nothing wrong. He had five and a half seconds, probably in front of the, the guy in second, which was science. Why did they pit him? Why? Red Bull had the best strategy. They waited and waited and they pulled the trigger. Because the reason why they pulled the trigger is because Gasly came out, he pulled the trigger first, put the 
intermediate tyres and started burning past everybody. And Red Bull saw that and they reacted fast. But not, not Mercedes. No, no, no. Mercedes, I'll get into Mercedes in a minute. Not Ferrari. No, no, no. They caught Ferrari out. And what did Red Bull do? Right, I'm going to pick Checo. Checo came out and as soon as Checo went, went to pit, the lap after, Lando pitted and then Ferrari was stuck. Now, on the radio, Pe um, Science was saying to the Ferrari guy, listen, I think we should wait. I think we should wait. I think we should stay on the wet tyres and as soon as it gets a little bit dry, let's go on the dry tyres. But what did they do? No numb nuts. What did they go and do, Ferrari? They said, no, you're going to do it this way. You're going to go on the inters, and then you're going to go straight into the dries. What utter mess. Pitting twice at Monaco is suicide. Suicide. And that's what happened to Ferrari today, um, a few days ago. That's what happened to Ferrari. They screwed Charles, and they screwed Science as well. But more and uh, more Charles. Charles had this race wrapped up. Wrapped up. And what happened? Ferrari done them over. And I'm going to tell something about Ferrari now. You ain't going to win no constructor titles with a strategy like that. The, the, the things like that that could cost you the title in the constructors. Red Bull were on it. They were on it when it comes come to the strategy. And so was Mercedes, but not with, not with Lewis, with Russell. Now, I'm getting a bit suspicious about this. Let me just drink this coffee. I'm getting a bit... I want to... This is what I... I, just don't, I, don't, I do not understand why they pitted Lewis. I was watching this and I was shouting at the TV. I had someone next to me and they thought I was crazy. Because I was shouting at the TV. I was thinking, do not pit Lewis. Not yet. I was saying, stay on the wet tyres. And if, when you're ready... Come on and put the dry tires on. But what did they go and do? They went out. I know what. Look, I know what they was doing. They saw Gasly. They saw. They saw. He put the intermediate tires and in the followed Gasly. I get it. But I should have waited. Look at the done with Russell. Russell finished top five again. Because you know why he finished top five? Because he's smart. He said no. I'm going to start in the wet tires, and as soon as it becomes dry, I'm going to go straight in the dry tires. You do not pit twice at Monaco. And he was amazing yesterday, um, the other day, George Russell. His strategy was perfect, and they blew Lewis Hamilton again. How many times are Mercedes are going to make this mistake with Lewis Hamilton? How many times? But it's happening again and again and again and again. Look, Total Wolf come out in the. Listen, you know, Total Wolf. It's all right coming out with just stupid ass grin saying, oh, no, no, no. It's a matter of time before Lewis and um, bad luck um, um, ends. You're fucking creating the bad luck. You are Toto and Mercedes. You are creating the bad luck. All right, the safety car, whatever. Things like that happen. But at Monaco, where Lewis was, that was your fault. I know people are going to come and say, oh, yeah, but Lewis should have done his lap. Lewis should have done his out lap. No, 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 no. What it boils down to, if they would have if they would have waited and they would have stayed on the wet tyres and at the end put on the dry tyres, they would have been in front more closer than he was. He wouldn't have been stuck by um, Alonso, stuck behind Alonso for the majority of the race. M M L Alonso admitted it, that he slowed down on purpose to save his tyres. And a lot of people, did, look, you know what? i got nothing here. Alonso's my favourite driver in the grid. Nothing wrong with Alonso. Alonso did what he had to do. And all these haters are going to come out and say, oh yeah, why didn't he move over? Why would Alonso move over? Does that make any sense at all? This is what I'm on about the stupid fans out there. Look, I'm a Mercedes fan. I'm a race fan first. I'm a Mercedes fan. Everybody knows I'm a Mercedes fan and a lot of other teams. But at the end of the day, I'm going to call it how it is. If you was in a karting race or if you was in a driving if you was in a car and you was in a race, why would you just stop and move over for the next person behind you? Tell me, does that make any sense at all? It doesn't make sense. Wake the fuck up. Alonso did what he had to do. The blame does not land on Alonso. The blame lands on Mercedes. Again, with Mercedes rolling the dice, putting them on the intermediate tyres, which I shouldn't have. They should have just waited and put the dry tyres on after like they did with Russell. It was all a complete debacle. So don't blame Alonso because Alonso was slowing the back down. Alonso's a seasoned vet. He knew what he was doing. He wanted to preserve his tyres. He knows if he would have 
slipped or anything like that or burnt his tyres out, Lewis should have passed him and he could have ended up probably getting 10th or 11th. Why would he do that? He knows Monaco is the only track like this. You know, Monaco is, is a unique track. <sighs> Fucking unique, all right? But he knows once you're in front, you went passing. So he done what he had to do. Slow down the pack, good for him. That's up to him. He was just doing his job for his team. Very simple. Now, let's get onto Dan Ricardo. Dear oh dear oh me. Zach Brown. He must be getting his he must be getting ready to end this guy's contract. Zach Brown. What what next for Dan Ricardo? Is it the job centre? Is it Universal Credit? Is it on the streets begging for money? Because the way he's going, he's not going to be in Formula 1. He's going to be out of there. And it's not like back in the day where he's going to go, oh, I'm going to go to that gym, I'm going to go to that gym. Gonna... That's all he's been doing all his career. He's, he's team hopping. He's never stayed at a team for long enough. He's never established himself at a team. He went to stupid... He went, he, he went from Toro Russell to went to Red Bull and he was... <laughs> with his stupid grin with Vettel. Vettel left because he knew Vettel knew he was a wind-up. There's no way Vettel's going to race with him. So Vettel went to Ferrari. Yeah, and then what happened? They brought in Max Verstappen. He, he started out qualifying Ricardo. He started crying and moaning. And when he had that Baku race, yeah, when they both collided together, he couldn't take the pressure and he got out of there. He saw the money. He said, right, I'm going to go to Renault because they're offering me the money. That's why he went there because of the money. He didn't go to Renault because he thought he was going to be faster than Red Bull. He went to Renault because of the money. Very simple. If you don't believe me, you're a geek. Don't watch F1. Turn off. Go and sleep in a fucking dark corner somewhere. Because at the end of the day, that's the reason why I went to Renault. You think he went to Renault? Go, oh, yeah. Renault. Perfect. I'm going to go to Renault. I'm going to out-qualify Red Bull. I'm going to out-qualify Mercedes. Yeah, right. He went to Renault for the money. And then what did he do when he goes to McLaren? Oh, yeah. I'm going to end you. You ain't ending no one, Daniel Ricciardo. You're ending your career. That's what's happening. You can't... Look look where you are, man. Look where you are. There's no different than Dan Ricardo. I don't care if you like him personally. I don't care about the personal thing. You don't even know the geek. Like, oh, he's a geek. How do you know he's like that in real life? I saw him on Ted's notebook once getting interviewed. There was fans cheering him. And he goes, oh, why do we have to have our interview here for? Why do we have to have our interview here? It's a bit loud, isn't it? That's the true Dan Ricardo. Not the stupid grin that you see on TV like a clown. Very clever. No. That's the end of this now. Daniel Ricciardo, he's not good. I can't see him at McLaren next season. And I just can't see. He's not doing enough. Even look, look at look 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 at Lando Norris. Look at Lando Norris, half fit. He's got all oh, don't know what he's got, tonsillitis, whatever what he's got. And he's still beating, he's still beating Daniel Ricciardo. This is a half fit man, he's still beating Daniel Ricciardo. That shows you. That shows you. No disrespect to Lando Norris. Lando Norris is an amazing driver. Future world champion, guaranteed. I want to see him, Russell, Lewis Hamilton on the podium. Free Brits. That is my dream. But let's face it, he was half fit and he still beat Daniel Ricciardo. What does that say about Daniel Ricciardo? I know he's a very popular driver. I'm not really a big fan of Daniel Ricciardo. I know he used to be a good driver when he was at Red Bull, but now them days have gone. Time's caught up with him. He's, he's, been, to the, he's been team hopping. And it hasn't worked out for him. Very simple. Nah, never happened. He's never going to win the world title. No, them, that, that ship has sailed. No world title for Daniel Ricciardo. All he's going to be remembered for is the geek with a smile. And that's face. He's just going to face the fact. I know he's going to upset a lot of people. I know he's going to upset a lot of my subscribers. But at the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I am an honest reviewer. I am honest. And it's like with Lewis. If Lewis does something wrong, like I called him out not long ago about the um, the qualifying, I will say it. I'm not going to bullshit you. I am never, ever going to bullshit you, ever. I don't care who the driver is. I don't care if I like him. If they do something wrong or they're having a bad day or a bad week or a bad um, season, I will come out and say it. I'm not going to be a fanboy and go, oh, yeah, you know what? Lewis is that. Lewis is that. No. Lewis is an amazing driver. I support Lewis all the way. But I know he's not going to be like that for long. I know I got I got faith in Lewis and I was gonna do this thing. But back to Ricardo. Ricardo, I can't see him being at McLaren next season. It's not gonna happen. There's gonna be some other drivers gonna come along. There's rumors of other drivers. That silly season's gonna start soon. That's gonna be coming, and you're gonna see who is gonna replace him. Now, the last thing before I go, 
Now there might be trouble. There, there might be trouble. There might be trouble in Red Bull. Ah, oh, Red Bull and uh, Mustafa and Camp coming to blows. Are they doomed? Are they doomed to fail? No. Reports are coming in that Max Verstappen's dad is having words with Red Bull. He's saying, I think they should have moved Perez over for Max to win Monaco. Who the fuck does this guy think he is? Like I said to, on my video two weeks ago and the week before that, why are they giving this geek with his checkered history a platform? Why? Go and Google, go and Google Yastra staff and look what he's done in the past. This guy should be in jail. Never mind getting a news outlet. Why are people interviewing him? Why? He shouldn't even be in Formula One. They should not give him a platform. Now he's having words with Red Bull. Christian Horner's making statements and he's saying, look, at the end of the day, um, Max Verstappen and Perez are free to race. There's no one favor, nowhere. Now, I want to see that. It's all right. Look, I know Christian Horner's coming out and saying that in the news. I'm still skeptic about that. I'm still suspicious about that. I still think my Mustafa is their number one guy. I don't care what anybody says. They can come out and make statements all he wants. Max Verstappen is Red Bull's man. I know they're coming out and saying, yeah, going to have eco cars. We're going to see, but I don't believe it. My point is, Yash Verstappen is falling out with Red Bull. Christian Horner's making statements saying, look, they're gonna they're gonna be they're gonna race to get they're gonna race freely. No favoritism. And it's been all over the news over the Twitter for the past couple of days. And we're gonna see what happens. Is this gonna affect Max Verstappen's races in, in the up and coming races? I hope it does. Um I hope Perez and um Charles Leclerc are fighting it out. And at the end, Charles Leclerc wins the world title. Because I think I uh, hopefully I want Charles Leclerc to win the world title. He's my pick. And um at the end of the day. We we'll see how it goes. Is this going to boil up more? Is Max Verstappen going to be like, is going to do what Lewis did? Is he going to say to his dad, you know what, dad, I've had enough. Don't make no more statements in the news. I don't want you here. I'm a man now. I want to move on. A bit like what Lewis did, but Lewis did it more respectful. He just said, look, I'm my old man now. He said it to his dad. He said, I'm my old, I'm my old man now. I know what to do. Thanks for helping me. And he fired his dad. Is Max going to do that with his dad? We'll see what happens. Something telling me that Max ain't going to do it. He ain't got the brain cells to do it. I think he's going to continue and let his dad speak crap in the media. I just got that feeling because he's not really the most intelligent guy in the world. That's just my opinion. There you go. So this is Solo P1 Sunday night. Don't forget to hit subscribe button, guys. I told you I wasn't going to do the review. I just want to talk about a few points of the video because you know the results by now. If you want to catch me on Spotify and iTunes, I am on there now. And um, the podcast is called Solo P1 f1 reviews go to spotify go to um, um itunes hit that like hit the and follow hit the subscribe and it's very much appreciated don't forget to like this um, video and um, please share it if you want like it um subscribe um it really helps out the algorithm i want to try and push to get some more subs thank you guys for supporting me all these years i'm going to continue to do this video i'm going to continue to make reviews i love doing this i'm an f1 geek that's just the way it is. But you will not you will not get no one like me on the F1 community. I might not be an Oxford um a Oxford student. I might be not this or that. Or my, I might not have a lot of links, but I am honest, F1 review, and I've been doing this for a long, long time. So this is Solo P1 so now. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much, guys. See you later. Monaco, go away. <laughs>